Hey to you guys. So, it's June, and it is the start of June, and as you probably saw my wrap up, last month did not go very well for me, um, which I'm totally cool with. Um, I know just this whole period of life is just insane, and I'm just, yep, okay, didn't happen. Great, moving on. Like, I'm trying to do my best and kind of just take things as they come. Obviously some days are more difficult than others, um, but I'm trying <laughs> to be a little bit more easygoing and trying to like not be too harsh on myself with things that are going on and and not reading and things like that. Um, so I want to go over the books that I'll be attempting to read this month um, and it this TBR looks a little different, not really that different, a little different, I guess, than um, what I had been trying to do. So what I normally have been doing is doing like a, along with all my rereads, doing like a random pick and then trying to throw in a classic here and there to hit all of my reading goals for the whole year. Um, this month I did not do that. I wanted to focus on all the books that I've been wanting to read, the things that I'm a little bit more behind on that I've been meaning to read this past two months, really. Um, and so I'm hoping that this month will be kind of a good, I'll be able to flow into all this stuff as I go um, because they're books that I want to read. So, not surprising. The first book on my TBR is The House of Hades by Rick Riordan. Um, I have read more of this since I last spoke to you guys. I've read about four more chapters, which I'm gonna admit is not that much. I've only read like that much of the book. Um, but it's because I just haven't sat down and done it. Um, earlier this week, um, I went outside for enjoyment for the first time in months um, and used that time to devote to reading. So I'm hoping that as long as homework permits these next few weeks and for the rest of the semester and the summer and everything that I can at least get outside two or three days during the week to sit and read and when I'm outside I'm reading like that's that's my time to read and devote that time to this particular activity which I'm hoping will add it back into my schedule and get me more um, excited to continue reading um, so hopefully um, the next book is Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan, the fifth and final book in the Heroes of Olympus series, um, which was supposed to be my main book. It just didn't happen. Um, so I'm excited to, whenever I get to this, to reread it, because I've only read this book once. And I only read it once and did the review video, and I read this at the very beginning of my booktube career. Um, so I'm very, very excited to reread this for the first time and see how I see things differently or forgot certain plot points because I've only read it once, that sort of thing. And it's been seven years, six or seven years since I've read this book, um, which is certainly the longest amount of time I've gone without rereading a Percy Jackson Rick Riordan novel. So I'm very excited to get to that again. Um, the other book that I meant to finish the last month and just never got to is The Royal Bastards by and Andrew Schwartz. Um, I am still um, just over halfway through this book. Um, still loving it and enjoying it, but I just haven't sat down and finished it yet. Um, I know it'll only take me probably four or five hours to finish it, um, depending on my focus, um, but I want to finish this this month, hopefully. Um, the other book that's a carryover, a lot of these are carryovers from last month, I'm just going over them again, is The Son of Neptune graphic novel, which is the last new Percy Jackson related graphic novel that is currently out. Um, I still have the King Chronicle graphic novels to reread slash brand new read because I have not read Serpent's Shadow yet, but that will come towards the end of the year once I get to those rereads. Um, but so I'm excited to get to this because this is the first time I'll be reading this. Um, I had read Lost Hero before, but I've never read this one. So I'm excited to get to this. Um, and this will be a pretty quick 
speed read for me at some point this month. The last carryover officially from last month is Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins. I'm about a third of the way. I'm just past, I've just finished part one of this. Um, I probably actually will sit down and read some of this tonight because I'm kind of in a, in a Hunger Games mood right now. Um, so I'm excited to continue this and the story is just so much more detailed and in-depth than I even remember. Like, I, it's been so long since I've reread these books. Um, so rereading these now is just so much fun to see these stories again and jump back into these characters' minds and um, see how all the plots thicken and intertwine and all that stuff. And then Mockingjay, I also really hope to get to this month once I finish um, Catching Fire. Um, I'm trying to kind of split Rick Riordan and the um, Hunger Games trilogy, so I'm trying to like read them both simultaneously so that I'm not too into one story at one time. So like I'll read a few chapters of Cutting Fire and then I'll go back to House of Hades and then I'll jump back and forth just so I can kind of get through them both at the same pace. At least that's what I'm hoping I'm able to do. Um, or I'll just get into a book and just continue because that's also something I can easily, easily do. Um, so the only two new additions to this month are, and this is purely if I get there and if I have time. These are not books that I'm like, ooh, if I don't finish these this month, that's, I'm going to be mad at myself or whatever, but um, just something that I can look forward to that are brand new reads to me that I've never read before. And the first one, it's no surprise, is The Battle of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. Um, this is the whole reason why I'm doing the Hunger Games reread. Um, I'm super excited to get into this book. Um, I have a feeling this will be a beginning of July read for me, um, but we will see how this month goes. If I fly through everything, then I'm certainly getting into this book this month. Um, but I have to finish five... I have to finish six books before I get to this book. So we'll see. It might happen. I'm not holding out hope though, but this is like my light at the end of the tunnel is to get to this book, so we'll see. Um, and then the last book is a brand new read to me um, that I have not attempted to read for a few years um, and hope to start it this month and read it slowly over the next few months is technically the next reread, next read in my Percy Jackson's reread sort of thing. Um, and that is This Behemoth, Percy Jackson's Greek Heroes by Rick Riordan. Um, I have yet to read this. I started um, some of these stories back when this, this edition first came out, um, but I eventually just gave up because it was so massive of a book and I wanted to read something a little bit easier to hold, honestly. Um, but these are so beautiful to read and, and that is really loud, I apologize. Um, but they're so beautiful to read and the art in these books is just so wonderful um so what i'm hoping and kind of my plan is that um this book kind of becomes my oh i'm kind of in the mood for something a little bit shorter i'll read one of the stories tonight and i'll read one and then i'll go to bed or whatever um so that's kind of my plan um but we'll see because in order to start this, I want to finish House of Hades and Blood of Olympus before I get into this, so that I have kind of, this is my Percy Jackson light at the end of the tunnel, like how um, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is for Hunger Games. Um, I just don't wanna hold that up anymore. Um, so that's kind of my plan on that. Just to give you guys a little bit of a brief rundown and what the end, what the, not the end of the year, what the rest of the year looks like for my rereads and kind of my goal with that. Um, as long as all goes well this month, um, with finishing those rereads, um, July, I will start my reread of the Kane Chronicle series. So we're jumping out of all of the Percy Jackson Greek storylines and now I'm jumping into all of the other great stories that Rick Riordan has released. released. Um, so the first series will be Kane Chronicles, so that will be July, August, and September. 
And then in addition to that, I will be rereading the graphic novels the following month after those are finished. So then I'll finish Serpent's Shadow in the graphic novel in October. Um, and then my pile of books just fell. It's fun. Um, and then for October, November, and December, I will be reading the Magnus Chase trilogy. So I will be rereading the first one, which is The Sword of Summer. And then I will be reading for half of it for the first time. Half of it will be a reread, The Hammer of Thor. And then whatever the third one is, I cannot remember it off the top of my head. That way, um, at the start of the new year, I will be reading the Trials of Apollo series and will be done with my true Rick Riordan reread in May of next year. So a year from now, I will be done, hopefully, with all of my Rick Riordan rereads. I'll be reading all of the little companion novels somewhere in there. Um, just depends on where they take place in the story. Um, and then from there, I'm hoping to then start picking up all of the um, Rick Riordan Presents novels and delving into all of those cool new myths and things. Um, I just haven't spent the money and devoted my time into picking all those up yet because I knew I wanted to do and finish all the Rick Riordan books, his his published works, and then I will be starting up picking up all of the Rick Riordan Presents novels and delving into all those different myths that they have to offer. Um, so basically that's it for this video today guys. If you have any ideas on videos you'd like to see from me or books that you want me here to talk more about or um, a series that you think I should read or a series that you think um, I should talk about or review or things like that that I've read, um, please just comment and let me know. Um, I would love to release more videos, I just don't really right now know what kind of videos to make. Um, so I'm focusing more on school and trying to continue to read rather than going into trying to figure out what other videos to film that may just end up being trash anyway. Um, so yeah, that is it for this video today, guys. And I will see you guys all in the next video, whenever that is, but probably at the start of July. So anyway, I will see you then. Goodbye.